There is an ongoing global revolution in the anatomical research field, profoundly changing the way we look at the human body. The way of thinking our anatomy and body, of course, is changing. The reason? Fascia, a network of connective tissue wrapped around every part of the body. While until recently being considered unimportant, fascia is since 2017 acknowledged as the biggest organ in the body, and perhaps the most important one. So fascia is uh, say almost one third of our biomechanics. Fascia research has sparked a wildfire of new insights that are challenging conventional belief about how the body works. Historically, I'm a pathologist, so I sit looking at human tissues under the microscope all day long. That's not the same as looking at living tissue, though we pretend it is. But now we have a scope that looks at the living tissue, and it doesn't look like what we thought. In your first year of medical school, you get a cadaver, and they cut it up, and you have to, you have to scrupulously tag everything as you're studying the body. The fascia you can throw in the garbage can. So it's almost like we're trained to not pay attention to it. The latest insights are presented at the 2018 Fascia Research Congress in Berlin. The most significant perhaps being Carla Stecco's discovery of a new type of cell, central for our mobility. And many participants believe she should receive the Nobel Prize in Medicine. We have discovered a new cell inside the fascia that we have called the fasciocytes that has a different, a different behavior and is able to create the gliding surface of the different fascia. You know, when the patient comes in to the physician and says, I think I have a problem in my fascia, they'll be like, they'll look it up on Google and they'll find us. At the Congress, new perspectives and explanations to symptoms and diseases like lower back pain, obesity, diabetes and even cancer was presented. And maybe this is how we'll get new answers, by looking at the body in a completely new way. It's all the same human body and we just have different perspectives on it. And I think part of what's going on here, if we're all talking about the same body, then maybe the issues that separate us are all about language and metaphor. I think this kind of work is starting to allow us to see where they meet. And if that happened, then you'd be talking about global medicine and global health rather than Western versus Eastern and, and that kind of thing.